Hello everyone, this is Glow Up with Rache. I am Rache. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a loyal subbie, if not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below that you are a new subbie. Alright, so this video is going to be about confidence. Let's find our confidence or let's bring our confidence back, right? In your 30s, sometimes we lose ourselves to titles, right? Your mommy now, your auntie, your big sis, your this, your wife, your fiance, whatever you are. Sometimes we could get lost in those titles and we lose ourselves a little bit. But this video, I'm going to bring you back to life and give you some tips. I'm going to give you three major tips and then I'm going to make a part two. Three major tips to get your confidence back overnight. Let's go. All right, so tip number three, I'm gonna go backwards and then I'm gonna to go to the major important stuff. Tip number three for me, I'm going to say, start off with reprogramming your mindset. I do not, I think I stretch this a lot, right? And you guys say, yeah, she, you know, she's sometimes, she's repetitive, I know. But mindset is so important if you wanna get your confidence, okay? Mindset is super duper important. Start with listening to podcasts, start with affirmations, get yourself on the right track. I always give my clients affirmations, I'm a life coach. I always start off my clients with affirmations to get their mind moving and to help reprogram their subconscious mind in 21 days so they can start to feel what they say, right? Because sometimes we don't believe our affirmations right away. But once you start to keep doing it continuously, keep repeating them continuously in the mirror, okay, it definitely will change the way you think about yourself and would eliminate a lot of those intrusive thoughts that come inside your head. I'm ugly. I'm this. I'm that. Affirmations is there to conquer those thoughts, to fight those thoughts. So this is very important, guys. Please, guys, go to a podcast. Go to my podcast, Be The Vibe Goddess. I'm going to put it in this video right now and listen to beauty affirmations. Confident affirmations, morning affirmations, positive mindset affirmations, any affirmations you can think of, it's in that podcast. Go over there and listen to those right now. I'm going to do some Googling, go on Pinterest, see what you like, see what brings up your confidence. What words would you want to say to yourself every morning when you wake up in the mirror? As you stare at yourself and you're brushing your teeth or you're doing your skincare routine, look at yourself in the mirror and actually say great things to yourself. All right say positive things to you all right a lot of people don't know that this is so important right because i feel like we are our worst critics but let's be our best admirers too you know second tip i'm going to say right now admire your beauty admire your beauty at your natural state <clears throat> this is going to go in tip number two admire your beauty admire your beauty at your most natural state compliment yourself give yourself a compliment right now on your feature that you think is the best feature you have what is the best feature that you think you have and you're most confident about compliment that feature look in the mirror and say to yourself i love this about me I love you in general. I love the skin I'm in. I love my skin complexion. I love who I am. I love my eye color. Something to make yourself feel good. This is so important when we talk to ourselves with compassion. This is going to make us think that we are the because mm. <laughs> if we don't think that nobody else will, we have to admire ourselves first. I feel like the best compliment is when it comes from us, right? When it comes from us, oh, I'll make up look good today. Oh, my nails look good. Oh, my hair looks perfect today. Oh, my skin is glowing. Stuff like that is going to get you in a positive mindset to make you feel confident. And then you will act confident, okay? Also, I want you to strip yourself down naked. <sighs> Sexy. <laughs> Strip yourself down naked, ladies. Look in that mirror and compliment yourself naked. This, your confidence is going to rise extremely when you compliment your naked self, okay? First of all, you're being vulnerable, vulnerable to yourself first. A lot of women can't stand the sight of themselves in the mirror. You're going to stop that feeling right now. You're going to go in the mirror when you take a shower and you're going to look at yourself and you're going to dance and you're going to admire your sexual appearance and your femininity as a woman. And you're going to feel yourself and be like, 
I am beautiful, okay? I am sexy, okay? No matter what anybody else tell me, I know that I'm sexy. My size is right for me. I love this body that I am in. So you have to say that to yourself, and I mean every day. And if you don't believe it, fake it till you make it. <laughs> once you start saying it daily, once you do it consistently, continuously, I guarantee you after 21 days, you're going to start to feel a shift in your body and your mindset. And then when you look in the mirror, you could be like, oh, wow, I am pretty. I am sexy. What was I thinking all this time? I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys, this is very, very, very important. Hear what I say. Hear what I say. I say what I say and I say what I mean. Okay? And I say what I say. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm telling you. A lot of these ladies on here, I'm not going to say ladies on here. I'm just going to say people in general have generic tips on confidence. Sometimes it's unrealistic. And I feel like this, when you work on yourself in stages, you're going to start to feel a shift in your own self. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start to feel authentically confident. Not this fake confident when you just put on an outfit and you're like, yeah, I'm cute, I'm cute. And then you come back home, you take off the cute outfit and you're like, mm. no, I want you to feel good 24 seven in your most natural, vulnerable state to when you go outside and you dolled up and you looking good outside. You're gonna feel extra cute when you're out there, but you're gonna feel good when you're inside the house in your natural state as well. Ding, 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 tip. Take a bunch of pictures and videos of yourself, okay? Everybody has a cell phone. It is 2023, turning 2024 in a couple weeks. We have a cell phone or we have a camera. One or the other, I know you do. <laughs> Start taking some selfies. Some little cute videos and start posting them. Build up the courage, start posting more on your reels, or on your little news stories, or on your TikToks, whatever you have, that social media platform, start posting yourself, okay? So that's going to build up your courage to show out more, to be you authentically. This is going to build up your courage taking pictures of yourself and admiring yourself, even if it's 55 freaking pictures that you have to take, <clears throat> excuse me, to get the best angle of you. Take those 55 pictures. And even if you don't want to post it right away, just look at yourself. Look at yourself and like, oh, okay, I'm going to post this next week. I might post this this week. Video yourself. Record yourself talking. Record yourself in your best, feeling good. If, even if you have to put makeup on and feeling good in your best outfit. Or you're recording yourself in your natural state, whatever you're recording yourself in. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Record yourself. Talk to yourself. Or act like you're filming a video. Even if you're not a content creator. This is going to boost up your confidence at so many levels. Act like you're speaking to your crush, okay? If you if you don't have the courage to speak to him or her, go in front of the dad, go on camera, and talk and be like, hey, what's up? I've been seeing you around. <laughs> this is going to build confidence, I'm telling you. It sounds silly. It sounds really silly. But once you start to do it and start to do it continuously, you'll know what I mean. Start taking your pictures in your robes and your lingerie and start, you know, looking good. And if you want to start printing out your pictures, start printing out your pictures and putting them in your room, putting them around your house. And literally wherever you go, you got to say, damn, I look good. I look really good. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's really a thin line between being conceited, but sometimes you have to build that overly confidence because a lot of people in this world will try to bring you down any chance they get. So sometimes you have to think of yourself as the queen bee, the goddess that you are. So when people try to tear you down, you can't ever get back here again because you think of yourself so high, you will never get to this lower vibration, this lower level again. So sometimes we have to build up that overly confidence to be in truth with ourselves. And that's the only way to be. This is part one. I will do a more in-depth video of part two of building your confidence overnight. Ladies, you will not be disappointed. Tell me what are some things you do to make yourself feel comfortable in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed yet.